Hello guys, welcome to my channel, A to A, my name is Johnson. So if you are tuning in for the first time, welcome to A to A. On this channel, we try to entertain and educate you. Mostly we try to educate people more about the America that they do not see on TV and the Africa that they do not know about. So if you are tuning in for the first time, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today we're talking about a township in Zambia, Lusaka, a township that was named after a rock, Kamwala. According to the general public, Kamwala is believed to be a Nyanja word that translates to a place of stone. The name could have been initiated by the people from the eastern part of Zambia who were among the first people to occupy the present day Kamwala in the 40s. Around this period, Kamwala was designated as a second class trading area. Mostly the shops were owned by the Indian community and the black community that lived in the present day Kamwala, Kawata, Nivala, Chilenje were the main clients to the Kamwala traders. General stories are told on how the locals would rest on Miala, which is the rocks during the rains in order to avoid the muds of Kamwala then unpaved and less populated. Most surface areas were visually exposed with rocks. The few vehicles that patronized Lusaka would avoid the Kamwala area because of the stones that proved to be menace to the moving vehicles. The effect of the stones in people's lifestyle could not be ignored even though it was located in Chief Lusaka. The locals started referring to the place as Kamwala the place where the stone rules. The name Kamwala is a migrant's perspective of Kamwale. In Soli culture, the name Kamwale refers to a young, beautiful girl that has come of age. It especially refers to the royal family or the princess. During the ceremony, the young girl is attended to by the elders called Vashikulu under special guidance and protection. Around the present day Kamwala existed a place where the Kamwales were taken for initiation ceremonies. The place was surrounded by giant rocks partly as a fortress and a space for rituals. Due to the importance of the ceremony, the people that lived in villages around Lusaka started referring to the site as a place of Kamwales. It is narrated that the people that corrupted the name are the settlers that lived in the area in around 1930s. The settlers were mainly from the eastern part of Zambia as indicated by the present day name Kamwala. 45 places were great consideration for the Soli Kamwales because the initiations were all for royals. For instance, in the Nankanga Mountains, Kamwales were perched up steps overlooking Rashikoso's burial site and shrine. The place was specially chosen as a fortress surrounded by a river and secured by bees. The bees were oriented to bite only men that tried to reach the Kamwales on the Nankanga Mountains. The steps dwelling around the Kamwales were the greatest barriers that would prevent naughty men from accessing the beautiful princesses. The only difference between the two stories is that Kamwala is not surrounded by mountains, but it is surrounded by giant rocks. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Tell ya!